Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice them for the first time and how old were you? Do you have any particularly nostalgic recollections of them? Let me know in the comments section below. Gwen was often cast in B-movies and horror films, which earned her the nickname the Queen of the Bees. Despite this, she was a talented actress who was praised for her work in both dramas and comedies. Gwen retired from acting in the 1950s to focus on her family, but returned to the screen in the 1980s for a few small roles. Brandon Lee was an American actor, martial artist, and the son of martial arts legend Bruce Lee. He gained international recognition with his performance as Eric Draven in the 1994 film The Crow. Unfortunately, during the filming of The Crow, Brandon Lee was accidentally shot and killed on set. The tragedy led to changes in the way firearms were used on film sets and prompted greater awareness of safety in the film industry. An English actor best known for playing Sherlock Holmes in the television show Sherlock Holmes, Douglas Wilmer made his stage debut at Rugby in 1945. He was an honorary member of the Sherlock Holmes Society of London, which regarded Wilmer as the definitive Holmes. Wilmer died in Suffolk, England, aged 96 on March 31, 2016, following a short bout of pneumonia. An actor, playwright, singer and lyricist of Canadian-American heritage, Edwin Eugene Lockhart became an American citizen in 1939. His career on stage was long, and he also taught acting and stage technique at the Juilliard School of Music. Lockhart was the father of actress June Lockhart. Paris began his career as an actor, appearing in over 60 films and television shows during the 1940s and 1950s. He is perhaps best known for his role as Jerry Helper, the next-door neighbor of Rob and Laura Petrie, on the popular television sitcom The Dick Van Dyke Show. After his acting career, Paris became a prolific television director. Melville Cooper was a British stage, film, and television actor. He was born on October 15, 1896, in Birmingham, England, and began his acting career in the 1920s, performing in London's West End theaters. He eventually made his way to Hollywood, where he appeared in dozens of films, often playing fussy, comedic characters. Ronnie Corbett was a Scottish comedian and actor best known for his work on the sketch comedy show The Two Ronnies with his partner Ronnie Barker. He was known for his distinctive appearance, standing at just 5 feet 1 inch tall, and his warm and friendly personality. Corbett passed away in 2016 at the age of 85, but his legacy as one of Britain's most beloved comedians lives on. In 1976, Vincent Marzello appeared in an episode of The Brothers, his first role. He was active on screen in North America and Europe. He also played the character Fernando Ramirez in UFO, Afterlight and appeared in the UK radio series with his wife, Flywheel, Shyster, and Flywheel. In 